All right, microphone check. You already know y'all might not like this podcast. Episode zero, zero. Where we at, fellas? Five. Five. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The gang is in the building. Alante Base God is here. Taz, Cannonball Phil's production is in the building. Boop, I got Gio the Leo is here. And of course, we is here. Brett. I wish I had some motherfucking bombs. Boom, 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 boom. We got to get the Serato popping. You know what I'm saying? We got to get that shit popping. Ting ting, definitely working. No, my bad, my bad. That's bad. like a what? The gun's uh, not big enough. It's like a thirty-eight. <laughs> like a twenty-two. No. It's a twenty-two for sure. Pew, pew, pew. Y'all was popping. How y'all? How y'all guys been feeling? Amar, how you feeling, baby? Uh, I've been good. I'm man. so delighted. Shout out to uh, JS One's bucket hat. Um, matter of fact, clap for J One's bucket hat. <laughs> um, I don't, I really I don't know why you, man, but or how. I, I really or... appreciate you for uh, you know what I mean coming in here and like you knew you were slick this morning because you walked across the street with your shades <laughs> on and you had your bag of uh, uh, outfit. In nigga, your, you in had your shirt on a hanger, nigga. I, mean, I was like, that's things I like usually do, Jay. with the shirt on a hanger? Jay, that's what I do. I, okay, I, I my bad. All right, I need to get like you. All right, we I got can't you. sweat my shirt out before I get here. Oh, I'm on camera. Ingenious. You know what I'm Ingenious. saying? Ingenious. I can sweat this out afterwards. I'm gonna take a picture too because I never, I mean, oh yeah, shout out to my daughter. She got me this shirt. My That's first like up. real gift from my daughter. She eleven. Yeah, yeah. She bought this herself. So it's amazing. Ladies and other daughters, take notes. Yeah, I like that. This nice. is how you treat the man for Father's Day. Yep. Mm. Treat your kids good. They they take care. Of you. I'm just trying. Exactly. I'm trying to get her to take care of me when I'm old. Same how was y'all week, man? Did it did it seem like it was longer this week or not? That was just me. Um, nah, this week kind of flew for me. Really? Yeah, it was. Ain't it wasn't super hot outside. Week, yeah. I got okay. videos. It's just like it's like all right next day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next day, you know. But yeah, it was a dope. It was a dope week. Um, thanks, I am. Um, not just working with artists and just enjoying, you know, fruits yeah. of creation. Jay, I had an MRI earlier this week. So oh, wow. like, um, are you walking out like? Well, you what? had an MRI. Yeah, it was a brain I'm scan. To people what MRI is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, All right, I'm thinking, so when he said that, I'm thinking like, no, cool. tore his, he just reminded me people don't know I've shit been, sometimes. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> I've been having, I've been having chronic headaches, you know, yeah. for the last month and a half. And mm. I, I, so my doctor was like, yo, we're going to perform an MRI, which is a brain scan to see if there's anything like going on, like cancer or something like that. So like I did the MRI and it came back clean. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They was just like, you just, something's going on. So it's, it's still a mystery. So we still trying to figure it out. But uh, I'm happy because I'm telling you, when I took the MRI, you start thinking the worst of everything. Mm. Is this a tumor? Is it a tumor? Like, I don't, like, I ain't know what the fuck to think. So I, I was like just when nervous. You, go to the clinic, but, yeah, you know you ain't doing no regular shit, but it's that one time <laughs> you fucked that one bitch. And now, you know what I mean? That's some other shit. Everything go wrong. You, you, you let you itch, like, am I itching? Like, oh shit. Yeah. Like, any yeah, cramp shit. you get. Right. You start, you can't breathe. Oh my God. Right, right, right. If I start seeing different colors when I blink, I'm like, man, maybe I'm just going crazy. Or something it's just happening. chlamydia. And then they was just like, <laughs> <laughs> yo! <laughs> but nah, everything, everything's cool. That ain't nothing crazy. Get That's crazy. You know what I mean? Ain't but crazy. I think I, I was kind of irritated out of the situation though. Like, and my girl was like, why Why would you? She was like, anybody would come out with a clean MRI and be happy. You would be the one. And I'm like, because. It's not a simple solution. Not mm. saying that cancer or tumor would be a simple solution, but it, it would be something more explainable. But now I'm still kind of like, well, what the fuck is causing Something you got to live with. You, don't know, you know what I mean? Right, right. And I, that's the thing I'm afraid of. Like, damn, am I going to have headaches for the rest of my... And I got to take pills. I fucking hate taking medicine, bro. That's mm. why me and drugs never got along. I don't like taking pills. I don't like taking needles. So y'all do no type of drugs at all? Just liquor, you know what I'm saying, and cigars. But I mean, I about you don't know, smoke a little weed from here now and then, bro. A little nah, twenty twenty twenty. Nah, every time I try, it's a bad night. So like, I just, oh yeah, let's nah, keep it yeah. with. I would weed. think a bigger nigga need more weed to be. Ha ha. What? Nah. <laughs> you hit a blunt like, one time and you fucked up. So yeah, does a bigger nigga need um, more food to be full? Yes. Nah. Need more liquor to be drunk. Really. You don't think oh, so? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely. But let's just be honest. I drink a lot, lot. So, like, okay. and I've been now because of the headache things, I've been, I've been completely cut back. But uh, it used to be a lot. So, man, speaking of drinking, man, come on, fellas. Let's go. Ah. Let's go. What are we drinking today? Hold on. Let me do the camera thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Today, yeah. Rick Ross. Huh? we going to fuck with your black ass. Let's go. <laughs> speaking Bumble. of bigger niggas and drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Bumboo Rum Company is Rick Ross shit. This is a, a rum. I've heard of this. I think I had a little bit. Um, shout out to my man. Uh, you fucking at your all up. Oh yeah, my fan. It's, 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 is it close? It's uh, Bumble. Rum shout company. out, shout out to Luke Belair. It's definitely mm. a part of the Luke Belair family. Just mm. say all the shit that um, need to be said. I'm gonna say the nigga shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bumble is there. Is there rum? They got um, they got a couple other things. You know, like it's not just black bottles. It's not just Bel Air. But this is this is a Bel Air product. 
if I'm saying it right. So yes, sir. shout out to official Bel Air for the gifts. So can we get some of that villain next time? That Kanye? Can you reach out? See if we can get the what? They have a Kanye. They right. just dropped. I ain't even. I ain't even. I didn't even know that. Yeah. They did send me, I think the blue bottles are like limited edition, so they don't they sent me like one. For real. I was gonna bring it down here because I mean Did you drink it? Nah. Mm -hmm. I wanna try I just wanna try it. I mean, I'm I'm willing to blow and buy a bottle for real, for real. You alright over there? <laughs> all right. Are you trying to play me in front of all these people? I didn't know. I was just, I didn't know. I was just just open the fucking bamboo. <laughs> Shout out to Rick Ross and all that. Yo, Jay, he'll be in the gym. You ain't know that. Yet? I actually don't. Yeah, I yeah, told his, you finger, his, his thumb and in index on. <laughs> so he jerks off technique. a lot. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Whoa, like, private time. You know what? You've been saying a lot of nice things about us, yo. Just take us out first, okay? right? Like, <laughs> if we're gonna do that, <laughs> let's just do that. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Like that's like insane. I like. I like. I, I'm in a situation. I'm a bougie hoe, bro. I'm sorry. I like. <laughs> oh no, I know your dates require two and three hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm just saying. I like, I like. You don't like Applebee's. I like steak and lobster. Bro. I'm just saying. Like, you I get me? you. I take you to Red Lobster. No, nah, no, nah, steak and lobster. Uh, uh, uh. Steak and they lobster. They have steak and lobster. Red lobster, Red lobster, lobster. Red lobster ain't right, yo. They, they steak and lobster is frozen and they unmelted and they put Damn. it in. Look fucking... at y'all. Are y'all all bougie? Look at y'all. No, no, Red, no, Red need, lobster definitely made me sick before. I need me a little. Seriously, not the biscuits though. Biscuits crazy. I actually don't like the biscuits. It's always Jay Who would be the, the nigga that not like doesn't like cheddar biscuits like me. It's cheddar? I just feel butter and like beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's butter yeah, and they, beauty. They are cheddar biscuits, but go ahead. Let's move right along. Yo, Yo, taste how, like this. how does it taste? All right, let's just taste that. Don't lie for the camera. It's got tastes a sweet like, smell, don't it? Tastes yeah. like butter, isn't it? Tastes like butter, isn't it? Butter is not it? Butter. <laughs> butter. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I mean, not bad. coming from a nigga that probably eat more than us, I'm going <laughs> to just think it tastes like butter too. <laughs> tastes like butter. What was the commercial? This nigga, yo. It's butter. butter. <laughs> it can't believe yo, it's not I, butter. Do you actually <laughs> eat like, yo, yo that's the commercial. Can't believe it's thing. not butter. Yo, I can't yo, believe it's it. not zoom butter. In on J J J zoom in on Jay. Say that. I can't, I can't believe, believe it's, it's not, not butter. butter. <laughs> 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 nigga told us it tastes, it tastes like butter. <laughs> what? I never and he like, got mad I asked. Like, like, what? I'm just carrying a joke over, but yeah, you know I mean, it's whatever. Man, Buckethead Yo, Jay is different. Buckethead Jay is, is very different. <laughs> I like Buckethead Jay. Yo, Jay, uh, speaking of, um, well, wasn't speaking of shit. Nigga always trying to speak but, of, like, I'm, you know, I'm going to go for that to this. Nigga, I want to talk about, uh, because I saw that battle with Bow Wow. That's what I actually want to talk and about. Soulja Boy. Yeah, Yo, yeah. first of all, Child that's y'all generation. I'm When I'm watching it, Yo, no, 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 no. I mean, let's be real. Like, I yeah. was mad grown when Bad World came out. Like, okay. for real, for real. So I was 21 when his first album came out. I was probably 25, 26 when Soldier Boy came out. Mm -hmm. So, like, even though I enjoyed it, and I'm a, I definitely, and that's one of the reasons why I'm talking about I enjoyed it for it probably to, a man. completely different reason why you it guys enjoyed it. But, like, what was it like for y'all to, to see these two niggas that kind of defined your generation? I mean, honestly, I'm going to say first. Oh, we going to turn this up then. We gonna, oh, we can't. That's crazy. Yeah, five, six, Dude, yo, awesome. yo oh, do you not know how much I wasn't ready for the music? Like, wait a minute, what was going on? I thought Bad was about to come out from the back. They couldn't wait to play music on this spot. Like, he's he's like, shit, we talking about it? Yeah. What's beating this? This what's beating this? What's beating this? Tia. Anything to no, you? No, know from mean? Soldier Boy. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh my turn my swag on. I ain't gonna lie. Soldier Boy came out wilder. He came out with all of his hits in the first four or five records, and then he was when, struggling. How, when did he play Crank That? I didn't watch all of it. Like the second or third one in. For Yo, real. Like I, dead, dead ass. Like he came with all of so the haymakers early. Man, I was told I had to shoot from the shoot. I had my daughter. Then I had to take care of my dog. Then the, and then the, he watched the, the fight. tank fight came on. Yeah, oh, yeah, I had, yeah, I had to watch tank. Yo, you know did you? Did, I couldn't find. I feel like any other time. I got the list. All right, the, 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 this no. is the list of everything in the order no, that no, was no, played. No. Do you have the the side by side? The side I, by I couldn't side. Because usually, side side. Like, usually I see a side by side. So is it soldier bow, soldier bow, soldier bow? Nah, it's yeah, just like a... it's soldier first and then bow. So it's back and forth. What's soldier first? So soldier's first join is she make it clap. Okay, and, and, what and then Bow played the Destiny's Child jumping, That's jumping. Winning. That's Easy. winning. Destiny Child, Easy. he cheated. Go next Turn time. my swag on by Soldier Boy, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then Run It remix, which is great. Chris Brown's Run It with Turn Bow Wow. Turn my swag on one. Yeah, turn my swag. In the moment, it was I guess no, running no, the no, In the moment, you got. I, I get what it how it's set, how it's reads on paper, but in the moment, Turn my swag on went crazy. In okay, the all right. Kiss me through the phone, Soldier Boy. Mm. Bounce with me, Bow Wow. Mm. Kiss me through the phone. 
Mm. He created FaceTime. Bounce Me was the first record no. we saw a child win with. No, he created FaceTime. Listen, we use FaceTime regularly. I hate Bounce you. Bounce with me. This is nigga the said first, he created the first FaceTime. Soulja Boy, like, no, Soulja Boy was what? the first nigga on FaceTime. Soulja, first of all, all right, Soulja we're moving on. We're, 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 all right, we're moving on. Pretty Boy Swag, Soulja <laughs> Boy. I'm a flirt hey, bower. What? Pretty he's Boy the, Swag. He's the Columbus of the us. Columbus. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> That was a good one, bro. That fire. was a good one. You were fire. That was a good Pretty one. Pretty Boy Swag by Soulja Boy or I'm a Flirt Bow Wow. Pretty Boy Swag. Yeah, Pretty Boy Swag's crazy. This right here Arca anything is my Black. Bucket Hat Swag. Whoa. Hey, Bucket Hat Swag. Oh, I'm hey. sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> not a clue. Not a clue. I hate this podcast. We ain't doing this shit today. Because uh, Jay ain't going to be like, yo. Jay might not like I this podcast. Right. Jay might not like this <laughs> I hate this podcast. <laughs> All right. So now I think it switches up. So at the, at the 10. So now Bow Wow goes first. All right. Shorty like mine. Wait, that was 10 already? Yeah. It could One, have been. You know, three, eight, four, you know, five, five, six, seven. It would be 20. Eight. So for, for some. For, oh, shit. My bad. And then he played a TikTok song like three times. Yeah. So um, you got. So it's got Bow Wow, uh, I'm a flirt, and then Shorty like mine. So I guess Bow Wow went twice. So Shorty like mine. Yeah, he went twice. I remember that. And then Bow Wow went again with uh, Bow Wow, that's my name, featuring Snoop Dogg. Oh, that was hard. You got that? No, I don't think I got that. All right, and you then know what I, Jada phone. You know what? You know what I do? I right? I got this though. Hit him with the. You don't like this? You was crazy. I feel this like was, uh, this is my thing with Soldier Boy, yo. It was we we listen to it now like this shit was rocking, right? But I, we were not laughing at Soldier Boy a little bit. Yeah, we were. All right, I, I was wasn't laughing, laughing at Bow Wow. I, I was laughing at Soldier Boy Bow through wow, the Bow whole was old. joint. Versus just, yo, Soldier Boy looked like a crackhead. Nah, nah. failure, nigga. Soulja like, Boy, no, fuck no. Soldier Boy mm. first. He came out that swaggy as fuck. Let's not do that. No, he, he swaggy. didn't. And Ladies then, and gentlemen, he looked trash, bro. I don't Soul, know what Boy? this nigga's talking about. Soldier Boy hey, Jay, came out looking like trash, yo. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, you be bringing no, jokes yo. to yourself at this point. You saying no, Soldier Boy looked like a what? This nigga <laughs> Soldier Boy looks trash. You be asking for the joke, bro, because it was just like an alley oop, and I, I was like, fuck it. fuck it. So you think he's a crackhead? Definitely. Okay. He smoked weed. He smoked at least fifteen blunts, like the whole joint. It was for the show. And on top of the fact that he looked super duper skinny, like face looked. Ain't look crazy. Something look like something like something was wrong. This with nigga Jay is in love with the music <laughs> plan. Whole time, this is gonna be cut all. The, this is all is gonna be cut out of everything. Let me cut out everything. This podcast is gonna sound like this podcast is gonna sound like Cardi B <laughs> whack on the radio. It's gonna, this, this shit gonna sound like Cardi B whack on the radio and shit. With a bunch of black faces. And shit. No, it's not, bro. All right, cool. Yo, but nah. So, so you didn't like. So, I think I personally think. If we, I think Soldier Boy, he did the, the Gucci Man thing. I feel like if it came to the battle itself, like a battle far as charisma, far as like everything else besides the songs, I think Soldier Boy won. But when it came to the songs, I, I, I honestly think Bow Wow won only because Soldier Boy eliminated himself. He played three fucking songs back, like he, he played three of the same songs, so that's eliminating three songs. You get what I'm saying? I definitely want to say shout out to Bow Wow for like just putting on a great performance. You know what I'm saying? And then including the three songs that that uh, Soulja Boy played, the same songs. It was the same songs three times. Then he play, then he gave a round away by bringing out Romeo. So again, he lost that round because that wasn't his song. But if we talk about battling uh, the aspect of like you know like just competition of I don't know you versus me, who's disrespectful? I guess Soulja Boy won. Anything besides the songs, I think Soulja Boy won. But when it comes to the track list. I think Bow Wow won because Soulja Boy gave away four songs. I can agree with you on that. I also would like to add that Soulja, it to me, it was a glaring difference in performance styles. Like, I really feel like Soulja Boy, you know, messed up an opportunity to show himself to be somebody you would want to pay a ticket for. I'm not going to lie. I never was a Bow Wow fan like that. Mm -hmm. But after seeing his performance through that whole thing, I was like, bro, I... And this, and to me, I'm not, yo, but I'm like, I want to see Bow Wow in concert only because the way he carried it, he was so spot on, yeah. so professional. Him and his DJ, like, it was flawless. Shout like, out his, to Russ. What was his name? Russ, right? Um, I'm not exactly sure, but what yo, shout out to that dude, yo, much respect. 
Bow-wow. You know what I mean? Like to see Bow Wow as a thirty year old man, I had I, I yo I had to put respect on Bow name after seeing the way he carried everything. You know what I mean? He drank a little bit, he did his thing, but it wasn't enough to knock him off his game. Mm. You know what I mean? He was he definitely made sure that everything stayed on point. He would he would throw disses at Soldier, but then he would piece it up, make it cool. Like I really felt like Bow ran that entire verse. I mean, you know what I mean? Where I mean, Bow's Bow's a true artist, man. It's it's unfortunate that you know time has gone by and people have just forgotten it or didn't want to watch him grow up. For real, it was really hard becoming like a thirteen to fourteen, fifteen. All these these superstar children, right? Becoming a superstar uh, adult. It's not many people that have done it besides R and B singers. Right? Oh, yeah, I don't know any rapper that has was popular as a child and, and then grew up to be just as popular as an right. adult. And that there's for my generation, a lot of those child stars ended up, you know, losing everything and 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 just being and not being able to carry their legacy. And I respect Bow for being like, yo, you healthy, you in your right mind, you're professional. Gaining a little weight. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, face right, definitely right, right. was I eat cheese sticks a lot. He, he, yeah. got, he got fast non drop, yeah. you feel me? Like yeah. I think this is definitely a battle of like, you know, who deserved their roses because I feel like both of them, like, like I said, yo, we got we Bro, Soldier Boy, the first nigga that uh had on some bathing knees, the first nigga that put us on FaceTime, the first nigga that um shit, he he did so much. Um, I feel like he was definitely an innovator. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he he really created this whole YouTube movement when it comes to artists. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, you gotta understand how much flack and how much shit he was getting for just what he was coming out. Like you said, when we when when he first came out, we was making fun of him. Mm-hmm. And now look at the world, right? Like I feel like I definitely think Soulja Boy deserves his roses, but when it comes to like the performances, I think Soulja Boy did a great job at, at entertaining. You He's always been an entertainer. But real quick, Jay, before I was just say his last thing, because I didn't really see it, but the only part I did see was I saw Romeo say something that was so real. He said, Bow Wow is the Michael Jordan for us. Bro, he didn't say nothing. Wait, wait, wait. And he did he say that. He, did. No, he, did. And he said, Soulja Boy was the LeBron. And I think if you look at the layout, it's, it's like, like that's like happen. saying Michael Jordan paved the way for 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 certain basketball hype and love, and then LeBron just made it electrified. Stars. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I can't believe you just brought that point up. Wow, <laughs> that's the dumbest point ever. Why? Bro, you just said he said the realest shit, bro. You you left out the part when he said, "And I'm like Kobe." Kobe rolled over in his grave three times when he said that shit. I did not bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, that was a part of the sentence. He, he said, he no, said, it wasn't. He said, I he did said, not bring that up. <laughs> he, he said, Bow Wow was the Jordan. Yeah. He said, Soldier Boy was LeBron. Yeah. And I was Kobe Bryant. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm going back to my original <laughs> fucking statement. Romeo said something that was really, really good last night. He said. He debunked the whole statement when he said he was Kobe Bryant. I, I'm. Thank you, Romeo, for saying the other two things you said. That Kobe shit. Stop. We it. just gonna Stop ignore it. that. We you the master P it. of all. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is real. Your father. No real shit. Romeo had like two songs, bro. What's his name? Name two songs. Name two Romeo songs. Name one Romeo song. I don't even know the nigga name. I don't you got a Romeo song? Yeah. <laughs> what was the Romeo bang? Yo. What was the Romeo banger? Why, why do we allow this Romeo, nigga to have bro. a speaker, yo? I take this whole thing back. I don't even know who, like, I don't even, I don't even know. Like, you can't I, even I literally, find it. I can't, I, 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 I What's type the first Romeo, song that comes but, on when you, top picks of a Romeo song, what is it? Bro, do we have a, uh, a Centrus? Does he have a fucking, type Romeo in on iTunes? Romeo Miller, I, I I can't literally remember. I don't, even, I, I don't know either. Uh, I would like to say that also, there's a couple things, and I don't want to keep dogpiling on Social Boy, but so, like for Social him to play <clears throat> him, uh, I so hate. You want to stop pounding Social Boy? <laughs> Yo, I said dogpiling oh, on Social Boy, dog, dog dog saying, saying negative things about him, it's like over oh, and oh, like I don't. Hey, niggas is going for the cheap life. I this thought is I what said it dog is. I thought you said like, dog damn. pounding. This. Like, hey, yeah. yo, what the fuck? You gotta watch your peas, bro. <laughs> All of them. But no, I do. Uh, uh, before you go any further, do not become a Soldier Boy hater like live on fucking YouTube right now. Like, just like relax. Like, what else bad are you about to say about Soldier? You said you called him a crackhead already. I mean, you know, he looked like he had some problems, bro. He looked like he, looked- he smoked a whole bunch of weed and a crackhead and a whole lot of crack. Yeah, I didn't say that. I said he looks like a crackhead. Like he was who won the battle? Crack. 
Bow Wow, easily. Who won the battle, Jay? Fucking shit. <laughs> Soulja Boy played a mm. record that had nothing but motherfucking Drake on it, my nigga. No, he Three had a, no, Drake he had a verse. They, the DJ actually fucked that set up. The DJ don't do that. The DJ fucked that set up. And Drake said it he was, won off. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, fuck it. I, Drake I, was not originally on that record. Drake took the record and redid it for himself. Stop. Stop, yo. Fucking stop, bro. <laughs> like, get my out Drake, of here. My man Drake about, said, you ain't got a song with Drake. <laughs> and Bob, I was like, nigga, you ain't got a song with Drake. <laughs> but my man Drake said, <laughs> my man Drake said, my man Drake said, if you would have let me know, he would have pulled up. So, I mean, if that ain't the stat, I don't know what it is. Drake literally said that in his fingers because he, he wrote it. Yo, Drake be lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> hey, y'all just be going with that dumb shit. Yeah, yo, yo, me call Drake, like, yeah Drake right. Yeah. Yo, yo gas the plane up, yo. Either, it's time to go to the Bow Wow Soldier Boy verse. He the type of nigga that like, yo, anybody seen Troy Ave? First of <laughs> <laughs> No, has anybody, no, for real, has anybody seen Troy Ave? No, he was at the battle. He was? <laughs> yeah. What does Troy Ave look like now? Troy Ave? We really, we really the same way he always really Let's ask him my guy. No, why, I, let why me call Troy. Nah, I ain't gonna call him. That's my guy. Fuck with Troy Ave. Y'all don't fuck with Troy Ave? Why we don't get him on the show? I want. I shit. I want. I yo. I got a thousand questions for Troy Ave, my nigga. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah, you got a for a nigga. Hey. <laughs> I do Troy interviews, Ave. nigga. What you want? You nigga. do want to interview niggas bad as shit. I like interviewing niggas. Hey, yo. so let me know. And Troy got some. Got some music, nigga. He do. Troy got a catalog, my nigga. He got a catalog shit. You know what I mean? Like name a Troy Ave song. Anybody in this room? Fuck you, Jay nigga. West Shut up. And move on. I just want to know. No, nah, fuck you. Shut up and move on. So like, so I, just, I literally want to know. Nah, nah, I, know. Here. nah I know some Troy Ave shit. All right, hold on. Let me, let me see. No, 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 no. No, I know some Troy Ave shit, bro. Bro, I know some Troy Ave shit, bro. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I nah, feel like y'all working together to yeah. Uh, nah, you definitely, just helping this nigga with playing records all show. I'm not That's playing no do. records. No, I don't want to hear Troy Ave I ain't playing nothing. <laughs> all about the money. All right, yo. Uh, what's next? No, for real. All right. All about the motherfucker. You feel better now that you heard the name of a song? I ain't playing. You said. <laughs> All right. Name two. <laughs> like, I'm gonna sound like a hater. I don't hate you. Definitely I'm just sound saying. like a hater right now. He said, "Told you to crack it." So we will find out. All right, look. Man, give me some motherfucker. I, how you get sensitive about that? Cause Soulja Boy's not crackhead. He just likes to party. Shout out the stars. The motherfucking hate over this motherfucker. You crazy? The fact that the yeah. fact the fact that Taz is the most excited person about this song. Yeah. That's funny as shit. <laughs> Let that shit rock for a little bit. Shout out to everybody at home. Yeah, I'm shout out to New York niggas. It is what it is. Hey. Don't hate right now, stars. If that's 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 your shining light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, don't hate on Troy Ave, bro. I'm not, I just, I it wanted to know like and this, now I know. Sounds a little hate-ish. Oh, sound like a little hate. Oh, my, 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 he gonna drop, but he gonna drop a diss song on your ass. I hope he do. I need some more public. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> it's like, no, but. That would I, be an interesting battle. What we can, I think, um, I, I, so honestly, I think far as song-wise, I think Bow Wow won. Yeah, Bow Wow won before this. Thank started, you, yo. Bro. Thank you for not yeah. going. Bow Wow got hello, Doing that wild shit. Like, bro, yep, Soldier Boy got bangers, period. Like, I'm never going to deny that. But the way he approached it, first of all, he shouldn't have put all of his heavy, heavy hitters at the beginning, bro. He should have at least kept one or two of them for the end and ended off strong. But I, for him to be towards the end playing a Nicki record that he produced, it was slick. I ain't going to lie. That was slick. But, and then to play that Drake joint, it just made him look really weak. I feel like, first of all, like, Versus started off with pro produced records. Mm -hmm. So when people was, I, I kept saying people saying that, saying he just played like he's not on the song. Bro, he produced the record. Like, he made the beat. Like, mm -hmm. that's how Versus started with mm -hmm. Timberland and Swiss. Like, mm -hmm. so when y'all say you couldn't, he couldn't do that, I don't understand that. So That's bullshit. That's definitely his track. Um, I seen a lot of people actually saying that this was the best Versus. I, think, I agree. No, nah, I don't know. I think. Who was the best one? Lord John, T-Pain, hands down, easy. Okay, I, I won't disagree with that because I really- That was the one really, that got me interested. Easy. Like, I, got, I enjoy that highly, but I love the live crowd vibe. Mm. I love them being on stage together. I love the sound quality. I love, you know what I mean? I love the energy that the, brow, the crowd added to the- So like when they dropped the records, everybody, oh! Like, yeah. I love the energy that the crowd brought to I feel it. Like, so like, shout out to also, shout out to Bow Wow for actually, I think he actually 
I, I think he practiced this shit. Mm -hmm. I think he mm -hmm. rehearsed this. I think mm -hmm. he definitely studied. Mm -hmm. so, so I definitely want to mm -hmm. shout out to him for being a professional about it. I think he definitely took it serious. Yes. I, I think he really knew what verses could do for him to turn that corner, mm -hmm. to, to, to bring him back to relevant. And not saying that he wasn't relevant before, but to like, for me, I, I'm telling you from my personal experience, like I respect that nigga more, bro. Like I, as a whole different level of respect. I didn't have. So, so if like, I could though, right? I think this is why a lot of I liked a lot of Soldier Boy records because I think I and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Soldier Boy came out of, at the Bow Wow, right? Correct. I feel like a lot of those songs resonated because I re, I think I remember exactly what I was doing and what space I was in when Soldier Boy was dropping the records. Mm -hmm. Bow Wow, I was so young. It's like it just reminded me of a child. It's like I don't really care. So when he was dropping them, just being honest for me, I wasn't as excited because it's like. You a grown ass man rapping his twelve year old song. You get what I'm saying? Like, granted, yep. it's his his track. It just it just didn't like resonate with me. Now, when Soldier Boy dropped it, popped up about, I remember me. I don't know if I was in high school or whatever. Like, turn my swag. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I remember that vividly, right? Like when he dropped the song with Travis Ford, I was like, I remember those mm -hmm. days in college. Like, I remember all that. the way. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Yo, you know when I heard that, I was like, damn, Travis Porter, what happened to them? Right. Like, like, so yeah. that's why I think I like, that's why I was leaning towards uh, Soulja at first, because it's just like, bro, like, come on. Bow Wow don't really have no records when, like, that age, when I was in, like, college, I guess, that I was bumping, I guess. Mm. You know what I mean? But, I mean, it'll, either way, I think, shout out to both of them guys. Yeah. It was definitely. a good battle, man. I think it was dope. I love seeing, you know. What you think about the fight, Stars? With Tank? Yeah. Man, Tank a monster, man. Tank's a monster. No, he's man. a beast. He's a beast. I think it was the best fight he's had so far. Yeah, I, I definitely want to shout out to uh, what's his name, Mar Mario Bar Barrios. I don't even know the white guy that he was fighting. Man, shout out to you, man. You I don't think he was white, bro. Come on, man. Spanish. First it was Jay. Now it's start. Come on. Spanish. Can't say white. Yeah, you can say white. He's what not you know white. What he's not white. He's Spanish. Oh, he's Spanish. All right, well, my but bad. I definitely think he deserves his, res his respect. He no, he earned, definitely he, he lasted man rounds. He earned his respect. And he, was, and he was and he was throwing some good punches. Even towards the end, like Tank was tagging this nigga. He still was swinging Man. back. Like, he he, when, when he touched Tank a couple he times. He must have tried mm. to breathe right when yo hit him in the stomach, though, because that nigga went down faster than fucking. See, I was actually in a club, but I heard um, Floyd Mayweather had came over and was like, I mean, I mean unfortunately, say, you're down at the on the scoreboards. And nigga said, fuck it. That's when he turned up. He said something. He just he kept saying a little statement. He's like, this is yours. Fight better. You know what to do. Take him out. Like you say a little shit like that. And he walked away. It was like, oh damn, okay, this is motivational. <laughs> <laughs> Go, knock him out now. And he did what he had to do. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Tank, man. Shout out to him putting yeah, on shout Baltimore to Tank, effortlessly. What do you man, what so do, proud. What do he do next though? Like you think I I really and I feel like this is as all boxing fans, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna agree to this, because I feel like back in the day, like it was no choosing fights. Niggas was fighting whoever was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mike Tyson wanted to fight whoever was good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't waiting. I ain't holding off for nobody. I'm fighting whoever's good. I want to see Tank get in the ring with a big name. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to see potential danger in a situation like, yo, this nigga. Like, who, like, who, fuck like, out for you know who the, everybody else is really bigger than Tank. Like, he's like, he's beating everybody in his thing to the Like, point. I don't know, mm. man. And, and niggas might drag me for this, but like, I want to see him fight like a, um, see, I'm not really that much of a boxing fan, but like, Gary Russell. Like, uh, um, of course, Ryan Garcia, even though I think he would demolish Ryan Garcia, I think Ry Ryan Garcia got the name. You know what I'm mm. saying? I want to see him fight other big names. Mm. Like, uh, uh, there's a couple other guys out there that's really good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I want to see him fight those guys with the names. You right, feel right. me? Like, now, let me ask you this question, and maybe I'm inappropriate for even asking this, but what was his payday? Because they talk about every time Mayweather fights, they all in his payday. But I don't remember them saying shit about... You know I mean, he's getting some millions. That's yeah, for sure. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's getting some millions? Yeah, for real, for real. For sure. Okay. I don't know. We can look it up. Let's look it up. Tank. I would love to know that. You know what I mean? Not necessarily because I want to be in, 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 in big homie business, but I just like, shit, nigga. You, to me, I think he's like the most successful entertaining Baltimore nigga that, that we got. Well, he's the most entertaining boxer in, in boxing right now. Yeah, yeah. He is. He's, yeah he's, he's that nigga in his boxing. Um, yeah, league. and I'm thinking he should be getting some... Some, some, you know what I mean? Sure 50, making, 60 million. Sure he's making a million. He's I mean, making like, if million. niggas tell me he got 10 million, I'm gonna be a little upset. Like, cause he's one of those draws. Like, he should be getting, and I could be completely wrong. I'm talking out my ass, but I, I mean, because he a Baltimore nigga, because he works so hard, because he's such a draw, and why he can't be getting 50, 100 million? Da, 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 like, you gotta make that much. <laughs> Mayweather makes that much before the fight. Mm. All right, so this is a little bit. It says, um, Davis will be guaranteed uh, purse money of a million dollars for okay. the fight, as per his contract. Uh, as per his contract, the figure will uh, 
receive bonuses on top of the base salary and share from the pay-per-view sales, which will <clears throat> boost Javante Tank Davis' total payout to around $5 million. Um, so, yeah, man, I feel like that's not bad. We, I feel like we be getting these numbers because Mayweather is so out there with his numbers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like $5 million for a night for what, he, what he, 11 rounds? Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Then he, like twice a year. And but you still got to pay your team. You still got to pay taxes. You just made $5 million. Yeah. Uh, huh? You made $5 million. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like, yo, I'm not... <sighs> All right. So what will it take? What, I mean, I asked y'all this question. What would it take to get his numbers to that level? So for him to be able to get $100 million for a fight? So I think, let's just say 50 to make it easy. So I think, just me personally, I think... Um, and again, I'm not that knowledgeable on boxing. But I feel like fights like this, the more belts he rack up, now he can put it, he can set his number to a higher level. Like, yo, mm-hmm. this is what I want. You can if you can't give me this, then I don't want I can't take that fight. That's just me personally. I don't know if I have any. His fights are always gonna be based off of who he fights. Mm. So if he keeps like he somebody else has to come around exciting mm. to make everybody be like, oh, he need to fight Tank, because he maybe could beat Tank. Mm. And with that mind state, that brings the money because people want to see. Tank lose. Mm. That's where the money come at. Like he'll be richer the more people he beat that they think he can't. Mm. Floyd Mayweather won most of his money and when he became money Mayweather because he took fights away. Everybody say he couldn't. Oh, the Capella. The, you know what I mean? All these people he had to fight. Not only did he fight him once, he fought him like twice because he knew the payouts was a lot. They always thought Mayweather was gonna lose because he got older. He stopped naked, knocking niggas out and he started using technique and defense. Mm. But I mean, he just always knew how to win a boxing. That's mm. all it come down to. It's a sport. It's a technique. But That's we're, deep. We're used to like boxing being like this knockout sport. When it's all technique, like it's about who hits more. I will tell you like this. I actually enjoy boxing a little bit more in this time period than maybe the early and the mid nineties. Only not because I love to see a Tyson fight a certain fights because the knockouts would be crazy. But I just enjoyed it. Like yo, Mayweather really be having me sitting here watching him like. I'm watching every move because it's so graceful, but it's technical. You can see watching somebody like Mayweather. You can see the technical skill in it. Whereas a lot of the focus in the 90s was heavyweight boxes, bouts where it was like you just looking for that nigga to get caught with the hook or you looking for that power move. You weren't always as caught up with the technique of things. So, like, you know what I mean? I will say that's a little bit of a difference in this time period. It's like, it's more, it's more respected as an art form now. Back then, it was like a slugfest. Like, man, blood Tyson on was niggas. knocking niggas out. That's what I'm saying. And that then you pay ugly. $50 in the, in the bout with last and 30 Tyson seconds. Wanted, he was asking the world, well, who y'all want me to beat up next? Mm-hmm. That shit was dangerous. I'm I eat your mother, I eat your father. Kid, I spit him out. I was there. <laughs> I was there. Was ready, bro. Yeah, you, you I was there. Like I was that? I was a that teenager was and an adult when he was I was, killing I was scared of shit of Mike Tyson. Nigga. I used to watch the stream like, oh my god. Yo, he even I beat think, shit out of niggas in the first round. Thirty right, seconds. But I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. I, like, so what? Question though, as a consumer of the sport, right? As mm-hmm. a fan of the sport, do you rather the fights like last night or those old school uh, fights I'm like Mike the Tyson fight like last night? Yeah, because like you get more for your money, yeah. right? Like Mike Tyson, you will spend all this money for a fight. Mm. And a nigga will knock Bro. him out in 30 seconds and you missed it because you you was running a little late. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I know I was there, like the one when he knocked that nigga out in 30 seconds. Like my godfather, like we was there, he had mad food everywhere. It's the house is packed full of niggas. Boom! Niggas is like, what? <laughs> like we we niggas ain't even got comfortable niggas in the was, chair. Like <laughs> you understand something? These niggas are one of like Mike Mike Tyson or whatever. Like they didn't realize how scary that nigga was until he probably was in the ring, nigga. And that the, and then you seeing a nigga look at you like this, like I'm a fucking kill you, nigga. Yo, he, and like he gonna tell you that worse than that. He bit a nigga ear off because he, he was, out he was in that a towel with a hole angry, cut in it. Nigga. Like he ain't got no shiny clothes. He got some plain black shorts and a like towel, a like. It looked like he just got out of jail. Mike Tyson did not box. Let me just say that. <laughs> right. Mike Tyson just beat niggas up. Facts. Facts. Niggas I realize certain niggas that's just so talented, like, uh, this might be going left a little bit, like, Tavon Austin, right? I remember running track against this nigga, and the nigga run like a nigga, but he fast as shit. Like, niggas like, striding fast like, what the shit. fuck? Like, I'm over here, my form is good as fuck. Like, I practice all week, my form is perfect, and this nigga still dust my ass. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, I'm like, man. That's what it is, man. <laughs> That's, that's some funny fast. ass shit. Nigga running fast as a bitch. Some niggas is just talented by, beyond measure. Like, mm-hmm. fuck the skill. 
they just came out the pussy talented. Like, That's a really? fact. I feel like, yo, stars. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they I, go to problems. Do do, do we want to go straight into this or? Yeah. Because Jay, you asked sent me some shit too. And I like what you sent me. Whatever you feel like you got to go with it. Let's look at this shit. It. Let's look at this shit. Let's look at this shit. Um, all right, hold up. I got it. So Star sent me some shit. Star sent it, <laughs> Star sent it twice. The first time he sent it, I'm like, all right, I ain't really paying no mind. And the second time, I'm like, bro, what you want to talk about this shit? And then I seen everybody talk about this shit. So why not? Let's, let, oh my let God. me play it. First of all. Let's bring let's bring content to it. I'm gonna play it. No, no play it. No, we bring gonna, content first. They gonna bring their own content. No, no, no. Bring content he so they can listen. Bring their own know what to listen to. Cause you just play. No, it. we can't prep them. Let them listen to what they want to do. Because she just starts talking. She's so let not... them go. Go ahead. Bring your context, bro. I mean, after 14 times, you telling me no. Play the play, shit. Play, play. Bring your context, bro. This is a woman who wants a nigga to take care of her for the rest of her life, even if they broken up, because he introduced her to a lifestyle of being a rich bitch. So now that he did that. She thinks she's supposed to pay her her, 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 her bills and stay at this condo. So and this I, is her talking about it. So, Stars, you just said the whole clip. I don't need to play the clip. No, play the That's clip. That's literally what the clip says. No, okay. this is her talking about it. Because this, right. is, this is a, this, you hearing her and hearing me is two different things. This is a person who believes this is true. All right. I'm going to play it. Oh, so then that. So then. Over. So I had a guy get me a Benz before and put me in a loft space and you know set my whole life up differently than what it was normally. And I feel like if you brought me to like this level and then we didn't work out, but we're still friends. You know we don't we didn't have beef and no one cheated. It was just didn't work out. Um, but I still ex I I wasn't going to move from my space because it didn't work out. I wasn't going to give him back my car because I'm not going to downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together. <laughs> and I just feel like if you. Put me in this space, and that was under your budget. Then what's the difference now? You know what I mean. You were my girlfriend. I was fucking you. <laughs> yeah, but I just I was fucking. I you. just feel, yeah, but I personally feel like no, I'm not yeah, moving. Yeah, but see, <laughs> but see, what he did was this though. He gave you the upgrade, but part of that upgrade is because you're with me. Yeah. You understand? So, so let me just go though. So we didn't work out, me and you dating. You feel me? So I'm supposed to keep paying your loft and keep paying your bins. Now I get it. You're a true boss if you do that, and that's the the vibe we're getting, but Jazz. No, it's just I'm not moving, and you, you're gonna have to deal with it. If you wanna stay way, upgraded, to stay with me. It. If not, go see what's out oh, there. Oh, so then that, so then if that's the case, so yeah. you want me to stay with you for these items and use you, basically. Not for them. If you but wanna you, live like this, it comes with being with me. Okay, so, so then so then you would prefer a woman to just stay with you for her items and her lifestyle. My lifestyle is now contingent, my current new lifestyle that you upgraded me to is now contingent on me being in a relationship with you and that's the only way I can have it in this moment, then what then stops should, me then you from should just get married, staying then with Jazz, you for that? Then Jazz, you want him to keep your lifestyle up, keep paying your bills, keep you on that same upgraded level. No, you were dating a man that had money, so dating him came with a lifestyle. But if we not working and our love is dead, I don't owe you to keep paying your, your car note and You're your mortgage. Entitled. I'm not entitled to. Now, if I'm that rich, then okay. But entitled, realistically, though. that isn't really my job. You should find you a man we, like we me and this, upgrade huh? to him and, and keep your lifestyle. All right, so I, I want to say something before you, you get into what you're doing. To the gentleman that was talking, talking about, yo, if you a boss like that and you can do it, stop. I hate that narrative. Don't yo, give it that. don't matter. Like, if don't I got the that. bread or don't got the bread, if I'm a gazillionaire, whatever, like, if, if that man don't want to pay your bills, that's not his responsibility, bro. If I didn't birth you into this world, if you're not my daughter, if you're not my responsibility, you're not my responsibility. So like for him to even say that, well, if you're a boss, so you want to do it? No, nigga, that's not what boss. That's not what about, about being what a boss is, figuratively start, or literally. I, I don't know. So what, I hated that, that one. That was her moment. narrative. I don't think he was saying. Yeah, that. I don't I think, think he was saying I, that. I, I, yeah, he, like, he was trying to say. I, I see what you're trying to say. Like if you're a boss, he should be able to take care of you and shit. But like, mm, nah, take this is what I'm saying. Don't use that word. I don't think. I don't ball. think he was. I, I think he was just saying. I get it. Like that's what the world paints you as now. Like it's like okay. Like, uh, if it's like it's like it's like okay. Yeah, you got a nigga that. Even if y'all not together, he's still paying your bills. Okay, cool. He a boss. Nah, I don't think he was saying he like, simp. yeah. But when I would, <laughs> thank you. I was gonna say, if you a nigga who not fucking a woman no more, it's not your girl no more, and you still gonna pay all her bills and shit. First of all, you a simp. Secondly, if you was gonna be a sugar daddy, just say that. And thirdly, you ain't getting no pussy. You a simp. I don't you feel see, me. I don't and think it's like it's a simp though. It is. Yes, that's some it simp is. shit. That's one hundred percent. You paying for a whole other bitch lifestyle so she can bring another nigga in, suck his dick. Fact. I don't think it's some sim shit because only thing I say I don't think it's some sim shit because you never know what the situation is, right? Why she got a disability or something? No, nah, it could be that, but I'm saying like when we, I feel she like she retarded or something. I feel like, I feel like the the just saying 
the statement is very broad. So you say if you're just paying for a chick bills that you're lifestyle. not with lifestyle without you, getting nothing in return. Right. That means you're a simp. And I feel like you never know. Some guys just feel like they they indebted to you. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I would do this, but some guys, we were talking about the movie Acrimony, right? Uh-huh. Some, some people put so much into your dreams or your goals into whatever you got going on that they help you so much that you feel like you owe them in, for eternity. Because Shorty was no. investing Acrimony, in him financially, no, no, no. emotionally, and time-wise. But I'm not Shorty's not Acrimony. bringing shit to the no, table I'm not but pussy. No, no, I'm he not. did everything right on Acrimony. Listen, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not he just had to die anyway. I'm not, I'm not saying that, I'm I'm not saying that she did it. I'm talking about... I'm speaking only to, towards the statement. I'm mm-hmm. not talking about her right now. Mm-hmm. You said, if you are doing this for a woman and not getting anything in return, then you are a simp. I'm just saying, I feel like it's a gray area in it. I don't think that's completely but a it's very not, small but gray in that area, scenario, but I guess I couldn't understand that. I was only going to say that he's paying somebody back. And, and the term, in the situation of acrimony, I'm giving somebody back what they invested in me. Mm-hmm. So that's the only thing you're doing. So it's not giving somebody money for no reason. Mm-hmm. There's a complete reason so why. So who's to say that if you got a chick, right? It's uh-huh. not acrimony, it's real life. Let's say you got a chick that did take care of you and help you out throughout this time and, and I gave you a lifestyle and I want to continue your lifestyle even though we've broken up because that's how much I cherish you. But that's different. She didn't bring up that scenario. She just saying, we was together, now we're not they, and you paid my bills. That didn't happen yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, want you to stop. I want you to stop trying to make it seem like this bitch has anything to stand on. She doesn't. She's retarded as you spoke, JS1. I don't think this is a real thing. I think this is the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. And if you're going to pay for a, a woman who you obviously was just fucking and just wanted her to be closer to you, so you got her the apartment for real, and now she all yachting to you like, oh, yeah, you got it. First of all, if you take a good look at the women that's saying this shit, this is the problem with society. This is, brought, this is what this young lady truly believes. She should not have to work hard for anything. Fuck all the shit. The nigga got you all the shit. How about he letting you keep the shit? How about you try to keep the shit up? Right. How about you find a hustle? Right. How about you a pretty girl who could find ways of making money? Right. Shit. Yeah. Push on the shove. Only fans is rocking right now for real. I mean, if the hustle Fact. gonna be, if you gonna just low key slush the shit out anyway, because you basically saying like, nigga, you bought me all this as I'm your bitch. I'm not your bitch no more. Like, come on. Bro. I feel like, like you nah, sound foolish. I'm, I'm with you 100. percent I do feel like yo, if somebody. First of all, niggas, we gotta just stop putting shit in our name. You know what I'm saying? Put it in her name. You know what I'm saying? If you want to upgrade, it, upgrade her. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, and not become a liability, because what happens is you upgrade somebody with something that's in your name. She leaves you, and now she have a she got this perspective like this, and it's like she want to fuck you over because like now I'm gonna just stay there. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I my think, accountant would probably say it'd be better to put my name because that way I can write it off on my taxes. I mean, that's not. But good. now you gotta pay for it when you're not together. First of all, the nigga you don't, shit in you don't have to pay for it. I can just shut it down. But if it's <laughs> a, if, no, but now, I don't want this anymore, I and I'll like, take the little fees that come along with uh, ending the contract. I, mean, yeah, I don't know how many. Goods. I don't know how many rich niggas y'all know. Right. All right, go ahead. But I know Jay knows a couple. But in my experience of being around a lot of rich people, especially niggas, it's a power thing. Mm. It's, a, it's an ownership thing. And it's this whole argument this young lady's trying to have. Like, even if he does pay this shit and still do, he gonna still want his way with you because it's an ownership thing. Mm-hmm. Like, ladies, y'all want all these new things and want all this stuff, want the heist cars. And I, how many women got cars that's really in their name? Right. But I feel like, I don't know, if, it's, if you're going to upgrade somebody, upgrade them. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I'm going to get you a nice spot, I'm going to get it to, to you. And, and I think, again, that, that holds you accountable now. now. But you're talking about upgrading somebody from a genuine place. He's talking about upgrading it from a control space. No, I'm just speaking Most of, niggas with money have control. Yeah, yet. and I can mm-hmm. see that. I'm just speaking of the situation itself. So mm-hmm. I'm saying, like, I think men just need to st- start upgrading these women or whatever they're going to do. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But if you're going to do something for her, put it in her name. That way, even if we break up, I can't take it back. But now, guess what? I'm I'm choosing to pay your car note. I'm choosing to pay your rent. But now, if we break up, you gotta choose to pay your own shit because now that's in your name. Now the hey. liability is on you. But listen, Jay, it's a two way street on that. Because guess what? One thing about that is, one year the guy has to like you and want you enough to want to help build you genuinely. Because mm-hmm. all that stuff, like you saying, if he paying shit in his name, his shit going up for real. Mm-hmm. He can cut it off and take out whenever he want. But then this young lady. Why? Why do you think the young lady made one in her name? Do you think this young lady who's speaking on this house one in her name? She can't even pay for it. She can't even really get it. The car. She can't pay the car note. You feel me? Why does she want this shit in her name? She really just want to have it to show it off. She don't mm. want to grow and have a business and learn things of that nature. If that was the case, I'd tell, if I was a female with a nigga with some money, I'd be like, yo, buy me a business off top. Fuck so, the bag. No, I feel you. I don't know. I just can't really speak towards that because I don't, one, I don't know the chick. You know what I'm saying? I'm only speaking towards the conversation. As far as the conversation, I, I do think that she's out of her fucking mind. I feel like if we're not together, you know, like, you're supposed to up, keep your own lifestyle. Why? Because that's your lifestyle. No matter what I did before, 
before you became single, like everything I did was because I wanted to do it because I had a relationship with you. Once we break ties, my relationship with you is no more, is, is null and void unless we got a child or something like that. And even still, it's, the relationship is towards the child. I feel like in this situation specifically, it's like, bro, like I did what I did for you out of love now that I want my separate ways. You should be able to up keep your own life, period. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. I mean, mm, so I'm, but what if in the process of them falling in love, he upgrades her life outside of a space that she, mm. she she's used to working at Macy's. Now you got her on a, she need to be working at a law firm type lifestyle. So now she's outside and then to go, see, and I think the problem is for her to go back to the lifestyle she was used to, she feels like it's beneath her now. I'm gonna tell you, um, but, but it's like, it's not because but, you're still that piece of trash. You just was in a nice house. Honestly, Jay, let's be real though. Let's be real. Go ahead. I, I hate to be this guy, but I mean, that's kind of true, but do you got the marriage license, the marriage certificate to prove it? Because honestly, when I think that's what happens when you get married, right? Like when you get married, if you if you had a lifestyle with somebody and once y'all divorce, you are indebted. See, I, I had to call somebody that's married, but I would think that you're indebted in something, yes. something like if that. You marry somebody you, you and, if you marry somebody and like seven years and their lifestyle is totally different and you make more money than them, you have to take care of them. Right. To, to, yes. to, it's right. called so, alimony. Right, alimony. So that's what I'm saying. So it's like, yo, you kind of did that to yourself. It's like, if, th if this is what you want, which I can see and I can understand, and I, that's why I won't call it too crazy because this is real life things when you get married. Uh -huh. But when you're not married, you put yourself in a position to not reap what you sown. You know what I'm saying? So like, right, that's right. your fault. You gotta, I guess you gotta put your foot down or get with a man that you know is gonna be more serious about you, I guess. I, 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 I definitely agree. I'm sorry. As a woman, you can... Facts, that's true. Because as a, as a nigga, if I get in a business with an investor, you feel me? My main thing isn't, all right, I'm gonna just do everything he say and just, you know what I mean, just I'm listening to him. And, no, it's, it's where can I build from? What can I do? Because everything's not forever. And these niggas with money, when they get with these girls, these young girls especially, they're not really worried about too much, but the fun they about to have for the last, last couple months. If you can finesse him to like you and you can show him the real you and he really sees the difference between you and all these other bitches you can get for absolutely nothing, then maybe that's something dope. Besides that, he's going to keep putting shit his name. He's going to keep putting you in nice places and making it convenient for him to fuck the shit out you. Mm. And when that's over with, baby, you over with. And them streets is cold. And them curves is high. Mm. Climb slow, baby. Climb, Climb slow. slow. <laughs> I like that. Ah, yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's this called? He ain't the he ain't the woman whisperer today. No sir. No, no panda cause. bear for stars. I'm on Instagram all day sliding down and seeing naked bitches with nice purses, bitch. I like trips too. <laughs> you feel me? I all love good. it. Yo, it's another. It's, it's, it's another. Uh, it's another one that I wanted y'all to listen to, and I don't think I don't think stars actually heard this one, right? So this is kind of similar. And I feel like I want to know who Instagrams y'all following to get this spicy ass shit. Actually, now people send me a bunch of shit because they want me to just talk to them and DM. But gotcha, gotcha. I definitely think it's dope. I, I like finding new things. You social stars. You if you are bored at home, DM stars. He'll do keep a conversation me. with you. Wait, you know, I'm if say. I do, it'll be a two day or two days later. I definitely get late back to DMs because I got videos in there too. But like people just having genuine conversations, I definitely want to talk to them. But you got to wait. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a speaking. Of, I'm a fucking terrible texter. Like I'm looking at my my text messages and shit, and people just be like. Like, you know, we start this morning show and shit, right? So, like, one of my co hosts, like, Jay, I hope you're serious about this because it just don't seem like you're there all the way there. I'm like, bro, like, got a million people texting me. Like, I'm serious about it. It's like, I'm not texting back. But you got a, you got a whole network you running, nigga. Yeah, like, like, I'm really, like, like, even, like, I got another chat. Like, yo, you gonna make this logo? I'm like, you gonna do this video? I'm like, bro, I'm busy as fuck. Like, my one day, my, my weekends is like my fucking Monday. Like, mm -hmm. fucking Friday is like my Monday. It's like, bro, I be busy as shit. Y'all want me to be responding to all these fucking messages? Leave me the fuck up. I'm sorry. I was venting. But <laughs> okay, I'll set back. You feel me? He love you. He just need a little space. No, I meant to say, I was, I was asking, like, how, did, how was y'all text game going? Like, are y'all. Oh, I'm a terrible text. I text about three times a day. I do a group at times. Like, every morning, I have at least. 50, so, I ain't the only one. Make me feel comfortable. Crazy. What about you, Jay? Don't nobody text me. <laughs> so, you're not busy? No, I'm busy. It's just that, you know, all I'm, everybody I deal with is over 40, so niggas ain't what trying to text. I was gonna say, is that they'll just call. That's some older than I actually like calling more. Yes, like, like bro, call, call me and get it over. Call what me, the fuck bro. You like, like, yo, now I gotta answer this to wait for your message. Right, I gotta like, wait. Just, like, like, call me right now. Yo. Is it? Or well, if you text me, just say what the fuck you want. Don't even do the small talk first. So hey. this is this is the this is the next one, right? And I think this is a conversation that I think let me just play it, because I ain't gonna give y'all no perspective. Have y'all think of your own. <laughs> Hurry up while the mics are turned up. <laughs> 
That's the most important. So you'll take a basic bitch that is somebody that yeah. you want to talk to over a bad bitch that will inspire you. So you consider yourself a bad bitch? No, yeah, I do actually. So you above basic? Well, you don't want work. You don't have no attributes mm -hmm. to the table here. Like what I are we do talking have about? attributes. Like I'm, a, what? I'm, a, I'm, I inspire my men. How you don't got no job? You got what's your education? Listen, what, when, what's your master's but you degree have to, no, but you have to realize that when men make it to a certain level, right. they're not checking for a woman's education. They're not. When you're ch when you're making millions of dollars, you don't care about a woman's education. I'm sorry, y'all. I wasn't Hold looking up. for her education. So let let let. Wow, you don't got no job. You right. Got, let what's your education? Finish. Listen, what, when, what's your master's but you have to no, but you have to realize that when men make it to a certain level, right. they're not checking for a woman's education. They're not. When you're ch when you're making millions of dollars, you don't care about a woman's education. Yes, you do. Talk to plenty of rich men. I do. I've I'm I've, a rich I've, man. I got an estate in Malibu. Okay, two acres. Talk yes, to yes, shit. Oh, two I would acres. like to see the paperwork. Okay, we can show you paperwork. Go ahead. Show, show me the title. To, we gotta show a paperwork to somebody that got no paper. That would make no sense. Show me the show me paperwork. Can he pull, pull up the deed? deed? Yeah. Can you pull up proof that you Can you pull up proof that you have a deed? You know what a deed is? What deed you got? What deed you got? D to these. <laughs> Come on, man. You, 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 got, you got a little residue underneath your nose, man, baby. So he's certified. Do that. He's certified. But, uh, but I get but, what you're saying. I get what you're saying, though. Is he yeah. fucking with loser, fat, old niggas got money? I get nah, it. Nah, negative. Hey, hey, hey. But when you're, when, seriously, There's when no you reach a certain level, when you reach a certain, you. Reach a certain <laughs> level, you don't care if that girl works as a bottle girl. You don't care if this it girl has matter. a job. Like, you don't care. We gotta have somebody that's got some smarts, though. We can tell you ain't got no smarts. Like, we need somebody with some brain. It ain't about just want to suck my dick all the time. The energy needs Damn. to be matched. We need, yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, it's, it's, it's I, bigger than but just. But you're saying because she doesn't have a job or work. It don't matter. So that's basically what's going on. Do y'all think that, um, what do y'all think? Yo, when, this is what happens when you let these goofy ass chicks Bad bitch. come from the, off the street and y'all let them in and you turn a microphone on. This is what happens, bro. Y'all, y'all let these goofy movies Come up in there and get confident because you done bought them a bag or you done flown them to Malibu, you done did whatever, and now they feel like they somebody because you let them go to dinner with you and you know, the people you do business with, she thinks she's somebody now because you, you goofy ass niggas keep entertaining these retarded ass, can barely read mofos because she got a fat ass and some titties. They really think they somebody, and then they want to sit in a room with people that really did get it out of the mud, but she ain't get nothing out of the mud. The only thing she got was some dick and some free shit, and she thinks that she qualified to say, I'm amused, I'm a this. No, you're a loser. You've been a loser your whole entire life. You're nothing but a high-level prostitute, for real. But the thing is, the problem is, is that these niggas done got you all sucked up in your brain thinking that you're really somebody, but you're not. You just a prostitute. That's all you are. But you trying to pro yeah, right, that's, so, it. that's cool. So, 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 so now that we let you get Ooh. your your hurt off. Wait. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm just Sweet. so for me, I just feel like to, to to her point, one, for the whole conversation, I feel like yo has been an asshole. I'm let's be real. I feel like he even started out with like, yo, he needs somebody with smarts and not just like a bad bitch, as if like, first of all, I don't know if he knows this chick. You know what I'm saying? Like, so just being honest, like. To say somebody don't have an education, you just don't know that from a conversation. And I feel like well, respect, she didn't say she had it. He sold it twice, and she didn't. I mean, but the com I'm, I'm not coming. I'm not coming out. I, Did respect you just blame is mutual. this whole situation on the guy. No, no, no. And I'm not her talking no, stupid. I don't think she's talking stupid because she's not saying nothing that's crazy. Honestly, again, I'm not a rich nigga, but again, I, we had this conversation of uh of like ambition, right? And I'm not. And you said it. At matter of fact, I'm glad we got a recording. You said. Even when I'm broke, I'm not checking for a girl education. So again, I don't think a rich nigga or any nigga in particular is checking for a chick education at all. As long as she can do, hold up. I'll let you get your hurt off. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like, as long as a chick is bringing to the table what you need and, and that's going to help you out, I feel like you ain't checking for her education. So for, for, for example, if a chick mother taught her how to be nurturing and taught her how to be a good woman to a man, I don't care about your education because you know how to treat me as a man. So I ain't really checking for your education. So the conversation was really on checking for your education. And I feel like he really was a little disrespectful i i mean just me personally i think he did come out the gate disrespectful before you go stars I, I you know i need to address this number one you need to stop that oh you're hurt shit nah it ain't no hurt at all this is just facts how i feel number two she had ample opportunity 
to say what she brought to the table. She didn't say nothing about nurturing. She said inspiring. She, no, that yeah, was funny. I'm amused. <laughs> she didn't say wash dishes. She didn't say raise children. She didn't say, uh, I'm going to have your back in the streets. She ain't I'm say, look, I'm going to hide the cocaine or I'm a do da 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 I'm with you on that. I'm, I'm with you on that. So, first of all, don't do that bullshit. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm with you. I'm just saying, right, you said to, the point, to, the point of, to the point of a nigga ain't checking for a woman with the education, he said he is. I just don't think I am. Like, I don't, I'm not checking, I'm not asking you. Hey, so what uh, level what level of education you've I mean, got? that's not the question I'm asking, but through conversation, you're going to know at some point that you have a stupid bitch. Well, I'm, again, <laughs> but when he's talking about education, I'm t- I, maybe I took it literal because he's saying your education level. I'm not asking you your education level because I'm going to see through the way you, the way, through the way you speak. I'm going to see through the... Through- so this is the problem, right? This female is speaking on niggas that literally fuck and stop fucking with her. But the time of fucking with her they're treating her like gold. And what happens is these women find niggas to do this nigga to nigga to nigga, which gives them this mind state that they don't have to have an education. They don't have to be anything but a looker because they have niggas with money doing the same thing and over and over again, which is buy the nice things, take them out, treat them good, give them a lifestyle that they really want and show off on social media. And haven't earned. And haven't, and haven't earned and live from it just because they look good and the pussy and again, is decent. I'm not speaking for a. I'm not speaking a general conversation of all women. All I'm or all women like this because I don't know her. Again, I'm speaking specifically to the conversation. And no, I do not think that you need a particular or specific education requirement to fuck with a rich nigga. I don't agree with that. Because I don't they, think so either. So a that's rich nigga all just I'm wants speak. to fuck. But, but again, but that's not women, true. Rich niggas is some rich niggas that don't just want to fuck. But the what this woman that she, this woman right here. She's not with this these niggas. This is this is a constant thing that she does constantly. How do you know that though? That's judging. Be, that's so are you judging. saying she judging off the conversation she that said, you heard? Conversation, Listen, that's it. She said out of her mouth, rich niggas ain't looking for education. And I feel bitches. like that's true. She's a I'm woman not checking who for is your not education. educated because she did not say she was when asked. But that's secondly, it's nothing wrong with the way she is or how she lives and how she goes nigga to nigga. And have but how niggas. do we know she's going nigga to nigga? Because she has. Is she a, single? That's the because way she's she communicating. Because she said out her mouth, through experience, rich niggas ain't looking for educated. That means I deal with rich niggas. And I'm not smart, and through my journey of rich niggas, they don't give a fuck if I know one plus two. They want to make sure I'm a fine ass bitch with a fat ass with some good pussy. I don't think she said that though, because even I'm taking the conversation again. I'm sorry if I if I he's taking it at face value. No, no you're I'm taking, taking it, it in like like she's dealing with niggas a, who want to really deal with her. And if, I don't. I'm but how you, do we know what's, what what who she? Because she with? doesn't have a nigga that wants to deal with her, bro. That's because he's she's single. single. Ladies. Make sure that when you hit Jay Hill's DMs from now on, you can on, say whatever you want because he's gonna believe you. Want, yo. He's I'm gonna treat you with no, love I'm and appreciation. You, no, and as not... his financial stability grows, so shall yours. Wait, have, have, <laughs> no, have, listen, have we, stars, haven't we had a conversation about about <laughs> ambition, right? So haven't. So it ain't like I'm changing my narrative. No, your narrative is the same. You don't I'm give a fuck. Oh, you being consistent as fuck. No, this whole so podcast. You don't look good. So, so, no, take care of no. you. <laughs> only worry about you and you cool yeah, with it. Right, right, right. So all I'm saying Jiggle is- Jiggle my balls. Listen, God listen. damn. And I, and I feel like <laughs> with, certain, with, certain, with certain men, you have some men, again, why you got to- If I'm not taking away from your side, I just think it's unfair to take away from my side. I'm giving you very, I'm giving you very much respect, saying you know what. And some men out there who does want a chick that's very ambitious, that 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 need to bring to the table what he brings to the table, et cetera, et cetera. But why can't my side be accepted? All I'm saying is, yo, for me, I can understand that side. That ain't my side. I'm not, I'm not disregarding that side. I'm not saying fuck that side. I'm saying on my side, it is what it is. I'm saying, yo, as you can nurture me, that's my fifty percent. If you can bring this to the table, far as Take care of me, feed me, wash my clothes, all that. That's enough no for one, me. No but if Shorty was that. saying that, I'd be right there with you. She wasn't saying but that. But she's not saying But she ain't that. saying what you're saying either. She's not saying that they care about a bad bitch that just want to fuck. She ain't saying that either. So if she's not saying what I'm saying, how can we assume that she's saying Where that? Where is she saying that? Because she's I, we, giving we off. Only say, all she's saying is niggas that's rich aren't checking for a bitch as a case. she know that? Period. I don't know. I'm just speaking to what she's saying. You know how that's she That's all knows. I'm saying. Bro, you stuck so, in a lot so, of rich so, so, and that's so, okay. So this is the problem. I don't want you to think I'm mad at this woman. I'm not, I'm not mad at this woman or this nigga. <laughs> yeah, this, right. is a, this is an okay thing to have. Um, yeah, right. A rich nigga who just wants to have young women who don't have any education or are bad bitches to inspire them. <laughs> the fuck that mean? Cool. <laughs> but, so, and I'm not mad at a nigga because he he paying his way and get what so he wants. So she wanna, she she living no. her life happy in her life. 
she want to she want to she want to kiss she want to 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 inspire other women right hypothetically let's look at oh, women she said it? wait a minute she said other women i thought she said other she muse for men men Come on, other women. Other women. I mean, this whole conversation is about yeah. her and Richmond. And the concept of being a muse is being inspiration for the creator. Let's, so like, let's, let's she would back. be a muse for him. Let's play it back real quick. I want to I hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. What do you have to offer a man? Hold up. Inspiration. Hold up. <laughs> That's the most important So you'll take a basic bitch <laughs> that is somebody that you want to talk to over a bad bitch that will inspire you. So you consider yourself a bad bitch? No. Yeah. Okay, she did. She said over a bad bitch that will inspire you. Yeah, yeah. I mean... And I feel like you Ain't no feel, bitch inspire me. You felt a little hurt because be you felt like we're attacking the concept of what you want for the future. No. And none of us are attacking that. We feel like that's the best thing for you. Yeah, but at the end of the what, day, that's what, that's that young you. lady right there, that's not it, bro. You're not gonna do that I can tell you. you from experience, that ain't it. So I was, again, I was really just speaking again towards the conversation. I'm not speaking towards who she is or how she is because I don't know this shit. That's all I'm saying. Type of and, I feel like, and I feel like, again, this type of I don't think. So, all right, let me let me. This type it. of woman that she is doesn't Fuck fit the with your concept. type of woman. I'm not talking about this type of woman. Again, let me break it down. Do you guys ask chicks their education level when you deal with them? Yes. Do you? I mean, I, I learned conversation from con uh, education through conversation. Education, I mean, I didn't go so through do you college, care about I'm one of the smartest chick, people. I know I'm one of the smartest people. A lot of people know, and so, I didn't make it past college. So if a chick is making you happy, do you care about her education level? Oh. Exact. That's all I'm speaking towards. I don't know her personally. I don't give a fuck about her or the niggas she's talking to. I'm just saying, again, towards the conversation that she's having, I agree. I don't think a rich nigga is worrying about a chick education level. That's it. That's it. That's we all. played that whole clip for that? That's my opinion of it. All right, great. You, you just got that settled. Your opinion of all right, it is move not right who along. this young lady is. All How I'm do saying. you know who this young lady is from because a conversation? Because of the educational conversation <laughs> this bitch just gave. <laughs> You're like, so I, yo. So if a nigga come in here with a gun and told you he killed three niggas and he leave out, is he a murderer to you? Because <laughs> you didn't see the murders. He just told you. <laughs> that nigga could be full of cap. He could be. But this bitch ain't. <laughs> I sound like an educated rich nigga fucker. And that's okay. <laughs> educated rich nigga fucker. You feel me? I love well, you, she's living her life to the best. I love you, my nigga. Like it's going yeah, I'm happy for her. Yeah, ER, educated e rich e nigga Don't forget the end. Okay. The end is it. Because e nigga, rich I'm not nigga mad fucker. at this young lady, but I just want her to know. RNF. R rich nigga fucker. You are going to be in the place you are with the same niggas getting the same treatment. Until so you do change you not, your mind. So, so, so do y'all, y'all don't, y'all really don't see nothing wrong with how he was approaching the conversation at all? No, he was approaching it as a man who's sick and tired of bitches like her. What? Yeah. I don't know. He was trying to give if a anything, real conversation. If anything, I, I want. He was trying to give us a real conversation, and because he saw that she was a little by bit by saying slow. that she's not educated. Yes, because he's talking simple shit and it's going over her head. Listen, Jay. The first thing she says is, "You rather have a boring woman that knows what she's talking about and talk talk to you and help you out with life, or have a bad bitch that inspire and a, you?" And the first thing, and, and again, that's a general question, right? And the first thing you do is make it personal. He personalized it to he her. He said, "Next, wait a minute. Are you a bad bitch?" And she says. Yes. Therefore, right. she is the category of a bad bitch who are only here, who is only here to inspire, and we still don't know what the fuck it is to inspire as a bad. What is a bad bitch inspiring me? I'm for? trying to get to the point of why the fuck are we still arguing about this? Like this shit did. <laughs> Jay bro. wants to fucking make. Like we've already established the one little thing that he wanted make to make a point. Every, you want to make. You want to. You make don't need to have an educated okay chick. Yo, Congratulations. It is okay cool. to be a hoe if you want to be a hoe, just not with me. It's simple. But well, the conversation of this is how ignorant she is, and the problem of with this conversation with her is, it's a real conversation with other females, and it's an idea that other females are doing. Mm -mm, ain't no. And she over she oversimplifies relationships. She's oversimplifying relationships for her own benefit. She's trying to she's trying to lower the bar. She's actively trying to I'm push the bar bitch. down Do so that she can get over. You know what I mean? And then so when so, when a wonderful person like you comes along. And you had this certain level of requirement. She trying to play the game. And while being with you, she keep trying to push it down. Well, I don't really have to do the laundry. You're rich. Go get somebody to do the laundry. Well, I don't have to cook for you. Get somebody else to cook for you. And the only thing that bitch doing is sitting around doing nothing. And after a while, she'll try to tell you so, to find somebody I mean, else to fuck you and then shit. You're be like, dude, what the fuck are you here for? <laughs> you ain't doing here for that's shit. A, that's a great point. No, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. I don't. No, nah, no. Nah, that would never. I don't it's think okay. that would ever be the case. Both of these guys are fine. And the, the woman Jay wants. It's, it's women like that out here too. It's, you know it's most definitely. And it definitely is fine. It's most and, definitely. and guess what? what? Uh, ambitious woman to, to me is right. out here. You feel me? An old bitch for JS1? That's out here. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> What's old? Huh? What's considered old? A bitch that don't talk much for Jay. <laughs> Jay's no. explained he like a bitch that, you know what I mean? Just let that shit, we just ride. That's a crazy. Mute. Just a mute. Not a mute, but you know. That's crazy. That's so you like crazy. old mutes, bro? Old mutes. Old well, you like, very you, interesting. You like old mutes. Apparently, I love uh, oh, RNFs. Oh, no, you love obeying bitches. Rich nigga fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Obey. I love a bitch that do what you say, and that's it. <laughs> no questions asked. No questions asked. I mean, uh, she don't even want to ask no questions. She had me. Like, knows not. I've been not, waiting for these orders all day. You nah, know nah, what I'm saying? Like, when you wake up, she's sitting there looking at you like, Boy, it's about time you woke up. Uh, What's uh, up? Why are your penis laying here on My that life can fun. begin now that you've woken right. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My life can begin. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? I've been holding my breath. There we go. The whole like, time. babe, she runs, she slides in the room and shit with her socks on. Yes, your majesty. Yes, your majesty. <laughs> your bacon's is, ready. Is it okay for me to breathe right now? Can I breathe? No, that's. And she not... brought him like. <laughs> <laughs> the way for you to walk. I'm going to stay there. I'm waiting for you to wake up. It's getting crazy in here. <laughs> want some bacon? Not what I want, bro. I just, I just want some a little bit of cooperation. Ain't nothing but a little right. bit of cooperation. <laughs> that was the funniest shit of all time. The top three qualities of a woman: cooperation. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with cooperation, that's bro? A top, that's, a, that's a strong top three. I need you to stop. I'm that's hilarious. Like mother, that's an bro. important element. Cooperation. It is, bro. You want a it, chick that's not gonna cooperate with you? Nah, I mean, you rather have a chick that's gonna go out and party and no, have fun all fucking day than a chick that's gonna cooperate no, with you and be no, on the No, the chick team. that's just not gonna listen to nothing you right. say. <laughs> she ain't listening. She like, nigga, fuck you. You ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> yeah, right. We gonna go outside and we gonna motherfucking <laughs> yeah, right. turn up, bitch. Yeah, right. Nigga, go do some rap songs. Nigga, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's how I love my Why don't you go be Jay Z? Yeah, I'm like disobedient. Nigga, go make a motherfucking video, bitch. Oh, yeah. I'm about to go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go put in this work, that motherfucking work on this business, and you gonna work on that motherfucking video, bitch. And you like, all right, you ambitious motherfucker. Is that what you, is that your take on ambitious women? So this is what he thinks ambitious women are. Loud ass bitches. That's some disrespectful ass shit. Loud ass bitches. That's some disrespectful ass shit. Nigga, go shoot a motherfucking video somewhere, bitch. That's what he thinks. So ambitious women. Do not. Why don't you go hang with your celebrity friends? Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, right. I ain't got nothing for you, nigga. I gotta get this motherfucker. I gotta get this money too. I gotta put this work in and get this motherfucking money. What the fuck is you doing, nigga? Yeah, for real. That's you think ambitious women are? No, that's not. No, 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 no. We gonna narrative it. We gonna narrative it, nigga. That ain't what I said. That ain't the way you said. Nope. You paint a bitch, I'm going to paint one. Yo, give him some straightening, bro. Give him some straightening. Yo. I ain't got no straightening in me, man. I'm tired, bro. Where we at, Julia? <laughs> oh, yo, shit. you got something else, Jay? I'm sweating this yo. motherfucker, bro. All right, do you want to have a serious conversation? Or yeah, let's have a serious you? conversation. Yo, all right. Now, I, 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 put it, I put a bunch of stuff in the joint, but I really got deep into something last night in a conversation about dealing with stuff that's going on in your mind, and I called it monsters, like monsters that hide in the dark places of your mind. And then I detailed it out. I you said, okay? depression. You, so you got monsters yes, in your mind? I'm wonderful. Thank okay, you. But sure. that doesn't mean that I haven't stuck and struggled with a lot of stuff. Even Demons. I don't want to say, I don't like calling it demons, bro. Because that's like on some religious shit. Okay. I like saying monsters. Because it's just some shit that might scare you or something that you don't really understand all the time. Depression. You know what I'm saying? Loneliness. Uh, you know, insecurity, mm. you know what I mean? Um, just a lot of different stuff. Like, how do you personally deal with the stuff that the goes on in your mind? Nah, I'm talking about the inside noise. I feel mm. like the inside noise is, is louder Worse. than the outside noise. Sheesh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't see, the thing is, I don't see you as having self-doubt, but I can see you having insecurities. I think mm. everybody has insecurities. So how do you fight against that type of stuff? Nigga, but I feel how, like we all got self-doubt. Nigga, but how like, do you fight against it? How do you fight against depression? Man, um, to be honest, you know, <clears throat> sheesh. I think uh, and this is, I always thank God for this, right? Just the willpower to continue. And I feel like we always, um, I feel like we always overlook just willpower. Mm. Simply that, because you know, like to answer it, it's no real way that I fight depression. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like my willpower and my drive to get it overpowers all of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's been times where I do self-doubt. I do have self-doubt. It's been times where I am insecure. It's been times where I want to quit. It's been times where I'm just frustrated. I'm like, fuck all this shit. But again, you know, I wake up the next day where I probably go to sleep and I, and I wake up and I'm like, I'm that nigga again. You know what I'm saying? So to answer your question, I really don't have a, 
a way that I deal with it. Maybe I need to look at some ways to deal with it, but you know, it's, it's definitely moments where I'm just fed up and I'm tired, I'm crying, I'm all, I'm doing all that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, my drive, my willpower over, over strengthens all mm. of myself though. So do you feel like you address the issues or do you feel like you have a tendency to push it to the side to focus on a goal? Um, I think I address it and, and, and to be honest, bro, and this <clears throat> back to our conversation, and this is why I would take a nurturing chick over any other type of chick, bro. Mm, because he's still again, selling. Nah, nah, nah. I'm being real. So, like, so for me, now nah, you got to understand, bro. It's certain people, like, that you can speak to. So, like, mm -hmm. I talk to Sade about some shit. Well, I talk to, you know, my girl about shit. And, <clears throat> and she would just make me feel better again, to be honest, right? Or I talk to some of my friends, and they will make me feel better again. It's like, I, could, I probably would come to you or stars, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be like, Jay, you tripping. You doing good. You know what I'm saying? The people... The, the people I surround myself with is always bigging me up. So mm. I definitely address it. If I feel a way, I'm going to come to somebody, I'm going to talk to them. And more than likely, the people that I'm speaking to is feeding me life again. Mm. And now they making me feel, they making me realize that, Jay, what the fuck are you talking about? You that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now I'm back at it. So I'm definitely addressing it. Um, that's having just, a support system. That's a that's Yeah, having a, a support plus. system. Stars. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Great answer, no, man. No, Thanks. So. No, it was good. I mean, I, I mean, for me, it's keeping busy. I feel like, um, you know, and as all all of us, I feel like re reassurance is, is so detrimental in entrepreneurs. Um, just to have, like you said, people around you that can keep you motivated and doing this stuff. Because however far you get into this, you're gonna always have people who genuinely fuck with what your shit is. But you're gonna also want to keep building. So like even if you get to this place you're on the stair, once you feel like that peak is at that stair, you you want to go to the next stair. And you know some of us get stuck on stairs, and you know it's okay, but um you know to get on that next stair, you know what I mean, you got to go through lessons and taking L's, you got to go through trials and tribulations, got to go through cause and effect, and you got to understand it, uh, digest it, and move forward. And I think a lot of people get stuck on stairs and just start going back down the stairs. Mm. When you're digesting something, say if you, you went through something tragic, even like you, you spoke on a transition from, not saying you transitioning out of being a, a rapper, but you finding a way through shooting videos. How did you digest that? Like, how do you, or what is digesting for you? Is it you throwing ideas off the wall with somebody else? Is it through crying and just being like, yo, fuck it, I got to do something? Like, how do you do that? All right, Taz, we love um, you, bro. All right, bye, Taz. Um, I feel like, yeah, right. Just leave. Just hurry up and run. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? I'm retarded. Um, well, oh, but the idea of it is this. I feel like you got to just keep finding things. Like, for me, I literally, everything I touch, I feel like becomes gold. That's my idea. Mm. Whether it's videos, whether it's podcasts, whether it's writing songs, whether it's my own shit whether it's me telling you what to do or not to do, and it still is great advice. It's in generally inserting myself or being invited into certain um, you know, conversations or ideas or work and it becoming better because of me. And that's always a lift because if we are always showing our value in situations, our value will always rise, no matter if it's, like I tell him all the time, like you do a post and you might get one follower, like, bro, the post worked. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we get to this idea that we need to have bigger and wilder things happen for us to know. That's why the depression's there, because we our expectations dictate our depression. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? That's but deep. as an older man, right? <clears throat> well, older than us, how do you deal with that? I would agree that having- <laughs> That wasn't no funny shit. No, 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 I, I definitely appreciate it. Funny to me at the time, but. <laughs> having, a, having a circle of people um, that know who you are and can support you, definitely important. Number one. Number two, uh, to me, it's learning how to see the problem. Like, reckon, like, my biggest thing is trying to figure out what the real problem is. So if I'm depressed, why am I depressed? What's going on? What am I doing? What, what haven't I done? Or what am I upset with myself about? Because normally I'm, I'm normally the one attacking me. The world ain't normally attacking me. Tomorrow I don't give a fuck whether I exist. But I'll be looking at, well, you ain't do this. You didn't do that. And then... Me learning how to go, bro, like you've look at all of the good things you have accomplished, <clears throat> making sure that I give myself credit for what I have done. You know what I mean? And then utilizing the things that I have, how I won in the past to, you, you know, help 
to create wins for the future. To speak on that, if you don't mind, I think that's so important. And I, and I do that sometimes too. I don't know how much it helps, but you know, just looking at reality and like Star said, I feel like everything I touch is gold, right? Mm-hmm. But understanding that reality is everything ain't, reality is imperfections, right? That everything ain't going to go your way all the time. Mm-hmm. And looking at your, giving yourself credit, like looking at your past success, right? So for example, like somebody might say, real story, somebody might say they, they might make fun of the way I host or they don't like the way I host, right? But I got to understand that. Okay, that was one time, but I just had 25 other people say how much they love it, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say I make a post and my post don't get, I don't know, 10,000 views. I got to understand that that's a couple times when I just had 25 other posts that did 10,000 plus views. I just had millions of views, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like just looking at the reality of it and understanding, and this might sound cliche, but after the storm comes the sunshine. Mm -hmm. And even during the sunshine, you know it ain't going to be sunny for but so long when it got to rain. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like I know... It might not, it might sound cliche, but that's how I look at my life. A lot of times when something bad is happening, I understand like, okay, look, bro, like, look at it, bro. Like you, you, you got to go through this. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, mm-hmm. it can't be perfect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, you're going to have to deal with it. And that's why a lot of times when I am going through something that's like, I don't know, hurtful or like <clears throat> people that might not like it, I, I, I try to sit and I try to embrace it. Right. So I remember one time I had made a post, a tweet about, uh, scissor or whatever and niggas kill me and i could have easily deleted the tweet <clears throat> but I, for me i love to sit in things like that because it's like you if you're going to be on this public platform you got to take the bad with the good and that shows your character right mm-hmm. not running from it right showing that who you are as a person as a man specifically is you dealing with what comes with whatever you mm-hmm. put out there so like even when it comes to the viral moments the things that i say i think the post that i posted on um instagram about uh something about the uh the last thing I posted when people didn't like it, I'm like, nah, I'm gonna post it. And I gotta deal with it. I've seen a lot of people hitting me up like, man, what are you talking about? Like your thought process is crazy. And I'm just like, okay, that's me. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is, just sitting in it. That's a fact. And I think a lot of times <laughs> the more we I, I was telling somebody yesterday, sometimes you have to spend some time researching yourself. Mm. Sometimes you gotta start learning what your trends are. You know what I mean? What do you have a tendency to do? Do you have a tendency to get angry all the time? Why are you getting angry? And then you need to start evaluating those moments that you get angry. Is it really worth that energy? You know what I mean? And after you start really, you really start evaluating your stuff and you start trying to get outside of yourself, meaning that you'll be in a moment and stuff happen. You can get angry, but you can step outside of that and go, why am I angry right now? All right, let me see if I, let me see if I can calm myself down. You know where that comes from though, bro? I think it comes from the fight within within yourself of trying to fight to be who you want to be versus who you are right exactly. now. Right. Exactly. And I feel like a lot of times we are scared to embrace who we are and that's okay. Cause it's normal. But me, I tried to do a, a like an intentional job of embracing who I am at this moment. So if somebody, like again, we have a conversation about R Kelly, this is what I think. Mm-hmm. And at that moment, it might've came from some ignorance from some lack, lack of knowledge, but that's who I am. And mm-hmm. I'm going to embrace that. Right. Mm-hmm. That's why I can get on a podcast and we can have these conversations about, different women, what I like, whatever can it be, and it can be jokes, because for me, I know who I am, my, my message is consistent, so no matter who thinks of me a different way, I'm me, and mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. So as long as I can be okay with that first, then I can accept whatever comes with it, if that makes Correct. sense. Correct, and I'm gonna add on to that. As long, and as long as I'm being my authentic self, and it's coming from a genuine place, even if later on I look back and go, ooh, right. I was wrong. And I change it. The only thing I can say is, that I was, was being the best version of myself at that time. 100%. I'm being the most honest from this space, you know what I mean? 100%. I try. I, I was doing as much good or being the best version of myself based on the information I had and the stimuli and the stuff that I had going on around mm. me. But I feel like that's so important. But also being willing to evolve and change yep. and understanding that there's work Talk involved in shit. that. I put something on Facebook. I said, it's easy to say, do the work. But don't do it. But Yeah, but it's hard as fuck to do the work, especially when it comes down to mental health. Because you do have to stop yourself and be accountable when you get upset or when you mess up something. It's easy to just say, yo, my bad. It's another thing to go, my bad, wait a minute. Let me go back. Let me evaluate. Why did I say that? What is going on inside of me? Why am I reacting in such a dramatic or reactive way? Like, I need to do better. And then every time from that point, checking myself, checking myself, checking myself. Like, that is a task and a job. But the benefit is a healthier version. And it's not, like I said, it's not today or tomorrow or next week or next month. Sometimes it might be years down the road because it takes time for you to make adjustments, 
to eventually you don't get mad you, as much. You, you know it's so hard about that though, but I feel like this is something that shouldn't be hard because we should accept it, but it's something that I'm trying to grasp, right? I think when you see yourself evolving into that person mm -hmm. of always like taking accountability, stopping and saying, what did I do? But the people around you aren't, it's like, yo, the human, because we are human, the human part of me, I ain't gonna say everybody, of me is like, yo, my nigga, I can't be the only one to keep looking at myself and being wrong. Like, some, sometimes you got to take some accountability too. Well, no, I, I definitely agree with you because that was another, that was something else I said yesterday is that when you, when you start seeing the results of you becoming more mentally healthy, you start seeing how other people have negative, so many negative things. <laughs> and you don't want to be around it. Or you keep, you coming to your friends going, bro, chill, like you're doing too much or, you know what I mean, whatever, whatever. You end up in, inevitably because as a part of your responsibility as being a good human being has helped other people get to where you are. Mm. Dang, hey, I've just gotten into this space. I've started learning this. So let me try to help you because I see you just said this or you just screamed on your mans or why are you talking to your kid like that? You're not trying to be judgmental, but you are trying to help them recognize, bro, I've been here because you recognize. because I was here. I dealt with that. But yo, let me try to help you get to this place because it's better on this side. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's happier when people be asking me all the time, how are you doing? I'm like, yo, I'm genuinely just happy. I wake up and I go to sleep happy, regardless of whether I got money in my pocket or not, whether everything's good, whether the whole world is on fire. I'm, I'm just happy. You know what I mean? Because of the fact that I have learn to just filter out the bullshit. But again, bro, I think a lot of this come with time, bro. Not to keep putting a magnifying glass on like your age or anything, but I feel like, you know, just speaking for myself, <clears throat> I'm trying to get to a place where I'm just genuinely happy. But to be honest, I'm not there yet. And I'm, I'm, it's not that I'm okay with it. I just can recognize because in order to get better, you got to recognize where you at, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, honestly, like a lot of things I'm worried about is like, yo, I'm trying to be successful in my career. I want to be successful with my relationship. I want to be success successful in <clears throat> all aspects of life, but I'm not there yet, right? And I feel like at a certain age, and I think we had this conversation before, it's like at a certain age, then you become, it's like, yo, it's okay. I'm not there yet and I'm all right with it. I just don't think I'm okay with not being there yet. yet. And I think <clears throat> that adds, honestly, to my ambition. That adds to my drive. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be wrong or looked at wrong and I can look at it differently and have a different perspective on it, but that's just where I'm at right now. Word, word. And, I, and I'm not mad at that. Like, uh, that is a difficulty I have in our, in our interactions is that I don't want to take something away from you or be on you about something that could actually be the pen to help you keeping all this running. You know what I mean? I turn you into the Dalai Lama and the next thing you know, you be like, you know what? I don't even really want to yeah, do it anymore. Yeah, we don't have anymore. to record. Like, it's, you know, like, <laughs> like, we had a long week. I think we should do some self-care. Yeah, right, like, right, right, like, right. Like, you don't have to come in. Right, right. you don't have to worry about it. You <laughs> know what I mean? Next thing I see you wearing a dashiki and no shoes. Yeah, this bitch. You know what I'm saying? On some, like, I just want to touch the kids and be, and just help the world. And you be like, fuck. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I never want to see you suffer. You know mm. what I mean? And I, and I, and I hate moments where it just seems like things are closing in on you because you mm. put so much on your plate. Yeah. But that's just a part of you learning how to, like, you know what I mean? When niggas hit the gym, bro, there's the point where you have to break through. You mean to break those old muscles. You got to put that extra weight on. And you may not be able to handle it, but you need to experience it so that when you come back the next day or the next week, you can, you can lift it. That's just a part of life. No, that's a fact, man. Um, I think that's definitely a great conversation, man. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <clears throat> give me some, bro, because y'all niggas keep playing with me. You feel me? Turn me up a little bit. You from in the earphones? You know oh what I'm saying? God. Don't play "Kiss Me Through the Phone." You know what I'm saying? Shout out my guy Troy F. Oh my God! Yeah. He coming through on a pod. Troy F on a pod. New York City. Yes, sir. Yeah. My nigga Troy F. What up, my nigga? I saw you at the verses yesterday and shit. Yeah! And Stars is a fucking hater. Oh, it's all about the. <laughs> is this done? We done? Hey, you already know, man. Y'all might not like this podcast, episode 005. Um, that's it, man. My guys, we out. It's the